feeling about my money, I would've went dummy and big grand. But I got this shit locked up, can't nobody stop us, your nigga. I'm tasting that big bag. Everybody rhyming, they clutching the fire on. My younger day wants on ride for him. He making we up, and I hope that the. What it do with your boy OTC Bro, and welcome back to Rude Reviews, man. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Roast, dislike, do the most, man. Hit the notification button so you don't be your boys upload to the tube. Hashtag Rude Ones in the comment section for a shout out on Friday and every single Friday after that, man. I appreciate you rocking with you, boy. On our way to 10,000 of them things. But if you get to 15,000 before December 31st, your boy has to chop down that. Airman. Now, this is Limp Bizkit. There were certain, you know what I'm saying, rock bands and rock artists that we, growing up in the inner city uh, or the ghetto or the hood, as you would call it, that we listened to. Limp Bizkit, Papa Roach, uh, some corn. You know, uh, Rage Against Machine was also uh, very popular. We heard, heard a lot of their music back when, even if I don't remember it now, I know hearing a lot of their music back in the day. Limp Bizkit was probably the most popular one. Him and Papa Roach. Probably the most popular popular ones. Yeah. Hands down, without a doubt. Anyways, this is Lim Biscuit. Break stuff. I think the reason people uh, where I'm from gravitated to, to Limp Bizkit because of the rap scheme that they bring to the table. The, the lyricism and the attention to detail, or also the substance and the message, um, and, and not forgetting the rock and the metal part of their genre, but also incorporating a rap scheme in that. And another band that does that phenomenally is uh, Rage Against the Machine also. You wanna try And that's another thing, my G. You can never go wrong with Uncle Snoop. You know what I'm saying? Co signing you. No matter how long you on the map, Uncle Snoop co signs you. That's the hood co signing you. I'm saying you got corn, you got Dr. Dre, you got Snoop in here. The hood, that's just it goes to show you, man. They 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 all rocks with this nigga, Lim Biscuit. Right now I'm dangerous.
just a rebellious song right in your face. I, th I heard you talking ish. I saw, I think I saw Alec Baldwin in there. I think I saw Eminem in that bit. Dr. Dre, I saw a dude from Corn, Snoop Dogg. But I think I saw Alec Baldwin and I saw uh, Eminem in that bit. Or was I tripping? Yeah. I think I, and I think I, yeah, I think I saw Eminem and Alec Baldwin. It's probably a lot of people I miss, but shout out to Limp Bizkit. I do remember this song. I do remember. I never seen the video, though. Never seen the video, but I do remember this song. It's more like a rebellious song, just in people's face. You can't tell me what to do. Fuck you. I heard you talking shit, talking that bullshit. It's a real rebellious, energized song. That's definitely going on the playlist. I need that. I need to hear that before I go to the game. Before I, I coach my game, I need to hear that all the way up. Turned up all the way. Anyways, man, shout out Lim Biscuit. Break stuff. It's your boy, TC Row, and I will see you when I see you. Go.